and, and so, while we are here, we do not have to become so attached to the world. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with, with being wealthy. I'm not saying that. But how attached do you become to that wealth? What would you do to keep it? Would you compromise your eternal values for the things of this world? And you know, I've discovered this, and I'm sure you have discovered this by now. At least you get to a certain age where you realize that there's absolutely nothing you have, not even a pin, that you will not leave behind in this world. And sometimes one wonders, why all that trouble? Why go to all this uh, cheating, all the games that people play in order to acquire something that you're going to leave behind and that they probably, most likely, will fight over after you've gone? So there is a city whose builder and maker is God. We can strive to reach that place as we yield ourselves to the Spirit of God. Paul was praying and he said, Oh, my little children, I'm praying for you till Christ, till Christ is established in you. That is the destination. That we are pilgrims in this earth searching, working, walking for Christ to be established in us. Because when Christ is established in you, the world pales in significance. Amen?